So I think business has to engage in global health. It's a moral imperative, but it's also good business. Now, particularly for a pharmaceutical company, our business is health. And for us to have a long-term future, we must be relevant to the whole world. And that means we must do what we can to widen access to our medicines in the poorer areas today, even though they have difficulty uh, paying for them. So that's why we have a whole range of different ways of engaging different country, countries in accessing our products. But business, of course, is a force to be reckoned with. Business has got considerable uh, talents, it has uh, assets, it has staff, it has intellectual property, it has you know, expertise and skills. And it should be part of the solution. It shouldn't be left to the civil society or governments because they don't have some of the things that we do. So we're very, uh, as a company, we're very, very keen on working with um, the ch causes of childhood mortality. So that's why our vaccines business is really very important in that area. Uh, and obviously in, uh, motherhood and uh, neonatal health and those sorts of things are very central to what we do. So the Millennium Development Goals are looking at childhood mortality, neonatal health and mothers, uh, and combating the big three diseases, so AIDS, TB and malaria. And we have uh, quite large portfolios in our R&D in all, th all three of those diseases. Mm -hmm. That's probably the area where a pharmaceutical company can make our biggest contribution. Mm -hmm. So we are looking at all causes of childhood mortality and malaria is only one as we saw in the, in the, uh, the session today. So uh, nutrition is another one, getting proper vaccination, um, those sorts of things. We want to, once you have trained a cadre of community health workers and they have got some knowledge and they have the relationships with the families, they can then deliver multiple health interventions. So, I think the next phase of what GSK is interested in is childhood mortality and preventing the deaths of children. So, first of all, as a principle, we never run our programs ourselves. We don't think it's appropriate for a pharmaceutical company with GSK hats on trying to implement programs in developing world countries. So we do everything in partnership, normally with charities, and another principle is it must be under the supervision, the authority of the government. We don't want to do things that are in any way cut across the health agenda of the governments. Uh, the challenge is always um, is what is, is influencing that policy agenda, what is the priority that they want to invest in. Uh, the model that we have for the African Malaria Partnership, which was demonstrated here today for Ghana, we have applied in four other countries. The barrier is can we apply it everywhere? And um, should it be a company like ourselves that funds it? We're funding it if these particular programs, if you like, as demonstrations to, to show what can be done. And what we would hope is that other partners would then uh, join and scale things up. So other partners being the governments themselves, but also there's enormous amounts of international aid going from the US and from the UK and Europe and elsewhere. We would like those sorts of funds to be following the similar sorts of models and building the strengths of healthcare workers in the developing world.